Welcome to Dice Tower Live. Hello, people of Earth. What's up? What's up? All righty. Welcome, my human friends. <laughs> How's it going, everybody? We're doing a Q&A today. Uh, the illustrious Mr. Sam Healy to my right and What's myself, up? Z Garcia. That's correct. Uh, all right, so we're going to jump right in, I think, and, and, and take some questions. Uh, and we'll start with a weird one because I just saw it pop up. Z, what precisely is the allure of the family Wade Earl for you? That's a good question. It has the word allure. Ooh, that's what drew you to that's it. That's what did it. I mean, that's that's how you want to get in the door with the first question, people. Use half fluting language. <laughs> Bring out the big words. <laughs> not too big, mind you. I might not know them, but allure, I do know. Um, I don't know. That that is a good question. I think what I like about it is a good balance between giving me all those euro trappings, you know, victory points and being uh, efficient and all those things without the rules overhead and actually being able yeah. to play with people you know mm -hmm. that's a big part of it i don't know i you know um simplicity and just sort of economy of actions is kind of what i like about euro games anyway yeah so then you take a euro game and you complicate it and you double down and you make it three hours and there's 82 choices you kind of yeah. defeat at the purpose i yep. can just go play you know zombicide Demon Plague or something. That's coming out, right? That's, that's possibly around the corner, yes. <laughs> anyway, all right. All right, here's one that I saw. Go for Z, it. Z, why do you like Pandemic so much? And there's a second part of the question. We'll, we'll get to that. I think I just said that, actually. Really? I basically just answered that question. Because it's, it's simple? No, because it's... Because the amount that you do versus the amount of rules that you teach or have to deal with is a good balance for me. Okay. It's co-op. I don't have to teach it all, all up front, you know. Yeah. It's a relatable theme. People can get into that theme. Mm -hmm. um, I taught that at, when I was teaching high school. I taught it at, at school, and they just could pick it up. You know, it wasn't, oh, in this game, you're dragon chasers, and you are going to be uh, riding these werebears. And the kids are like, eh. Sure, but this is super nerdy, you know. This is yeah. like at any, you know, medical show you've ever seen. This is the On season the finale, game, right, you know yeah. what I mean? Uh, the second part of the question is, Sam, why is Blood Rage your number one game? And uh, quite simply, it is because I like the the um, the one-two punch of being easy to teach and uh, very thematically immersive. Um, the mechanisms, while they don't really, they, they really aren't completely integrated with the theme, they don't take away from the theme either. Uh, and the miniatures are awesome as well. Uh, there is just a lot in the game. Uh, I, I keep saying this. Every time I play the game, it seems like I find something new or some kind of new combination that I haven't seen before. Because there's oftentimes, well, all the time, you don't use all of the cards in the game. And so one card might be absent from a certain combination in one game, and it's they're together in another. And I, I like that. I like when, uh, I mean, I've been playing this game now for, what, two, th two, two and a half years, uh, almost every convention, and then some. Yeah. Uh, and I'm still finding new combinations. That's just a super thing, in my opinion. Uh, and it's only, it's like two hours or less to get to the table. So I really, that's, there's just, and Vikings. So there you go. <laughs> Raul Hernandez says, Z reminds me of one of my cousins in Miami. Maybe I am one of your cousins <laughs> in Miami, homie. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Good be, <deep>, man. <laughs> Uh, all right. Your fourth cousin, twice removed. It could be. All right, let's see. What else have we got here? Let's jump back up because we've got quite a bit, Sam. We haven't done one of these in a while. Maybe that's, that's true. it. Uh, one guy, uh, Kyle Martin asks, what are your thoughts on the auction rules and the newer version of Coliseum? Uh, I want to introduce the are game to the... different? <laughs> uh, well, they're slightly different. But here's the thing. I don't even remember how they're different because I don't use them. <laughs> um, we do the auction... Uh, and the trading uh, uh, parts of those 
of, the, of that game, we do a little bit differently uh, in order to speed the game up a little bit. Uh, I think normally the way you're supposed to do it is that um, the way we run the auction is that one person is, is the person who chooses who's, what, what lot of tiles is going to be auctioned off. And then you go around the table, upping the bid and all that other kind of stuff until somebody finally wins it. And uh, then after the auction thing is over, there's a trading aspect where each person can then trade with, with other people on the table. And there's one person that is the trader and you can trade with that person, uh, but then it's the next person's fault. And that just kind of bogs the game down. So we actually do kind of a open style uh, simultaneous auction where um, you know, I can, I can, uh, or not auction, but uh, trading, where I can trade with this person and then I can trade with this person over here, but they can trade with that person over there too. And, and uh, it, it, it throws a different dynamic into the game. And some people have said that they don't like it that I've played with because uh, they feel like they can be shunned at the same time by multiple people and they feel like they have a less of an opportunity to get what they need or what they want. Um, so I, I'm not saying that it's absolutely perfect, but I like it a lot and uh, it does speed up the game a little bit and it throws everybody kind of uh, a little bit more active. So um, that's what we do. Uh, I don't know how different that is than the uh, newer version though. All right, somebody asked about uh, Wingspan. Have we played Wingspan? What did we think of it? I have not played it. Um, my sons have played it. My two older sons. Um, the younger of the two loved it. The older of the two was not enamored by it, but also didn't hate it. And I haven't played it. So that's three different options. I think you have played it though, right? I played it. I thought it was all right. Um, you know, solid. It was one play. I'll say that. And I do want to say Jason, I think, was there. Um, well, that throws everything off. Yeah, it will get better. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, right now, if, I, if, I, if you twisted my arm to give it a rating right now, I would say like a 6.5 or 6 out of 10. Hmm. It's okay. I'm, I'm expecting it to get better. The main thing that bothered me, everything was stunning looking. The main thing that bothered me was it suffered from the same thing. And I use suffered heavy-handedly um, from the same thing that I found to be true in gizmos which is the first few rounds are great mm -hmm. Ooh, combos neat things Ooh, I'm gonna do this action I'm gonna do that action the last say third of the game too many combos oh yeah. you're triggering yeah four five cards on your go and you forget some no, that's not it, because they are in a line. Once you trigger something, you're going to go boom, 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 boom. Oh, okay. It just slows the game down. Yeah. you got to sit there for four other people doing that. Yeah. And every now and then, one of those things will affect you, yeah. But, again, it just, whoop, that, that, now you get to do cool things, you know, curve goes past the point of, yeah, but I also have to sit here, game. Let's go, you know. Yeah. <clears throat> What kind of stickers do you have on your laptops? What do you got? I oh, got, yeah. well, I got this, uh, this is just a cool stuff sticker. This is a, uh, um, a squadron insignia from uh, a fan that sent it to us, the uh, 513th AMXS Unity and Honor. Uh, so that's a U.S. Air Force um, uh, squadron uh, badge, I guess you could call it. Uh, and then I've got a couple stuff over here. We've got some meeples, and I've got a thing here that's a, uh, a, a, a friend of mine in uh, Tennessee, his brother, um, did this little insignia, and he gave us some shirts and stickers and stuff like that, so there's that. And I have my keyboard section is clean, but on the back I've got Batman. Clean? What do you mean say? I'm dirty? Yes. Okay. No, I mean, devoid of stickers. How about that? There you go. That sounds nice. Uh, have you guys played Battle for Rokugan, the board game, or Game of Thrones, the board game? What do you think of them? Well, I reviewed Battle for Rokugan, so just go look at that. Game of Thrones? No, I haven't. Have you? What? The Game of Thrones board game? Actually, that Battle for Rokugan game. Did you play that? Yeah. You liked it? Battle for Rokugan. That's the one that has... Uh, the Legend of the Five Rings, like, area control. Yeah, kind of, yeah, know. yeah, yeah. No, I've played that a couple times, actually, and it's it's not bad. It's, it's good. not bad. Yeah, it actually works with two players as well. I liked it. I liked yeah. it. 
Um, Z, what did you teach? I taught theater. Uh, do you think there's a lack of big games that are short? Uh, no, I don't think so. I don't want the game to be too short either. I don't want to sit there and learn 20 minutes worth of rules for 20 minutes worth of play. Right. No, no, they're fine. I mean, I don't normally find, um, you know, these big epic games, if they've got a lot going on, that's okay that they're an hour and a half, two hours, you know, whatever. But, so no, I don't think there's a deficit of short games or big games that are short. Um, uh, what percentage of your time do you spend playing games, editing, doing admin stuff, or random things? It's mostly editing. Yeah. For me, I mean. Yeah. For both of us. Yeah, we do basically the same thing. We uh, we both edit our own things. Um, as of right now, anyway, it's at least seventy percent editing. Hmm. That's how it feels. Well, the last couple of weeks have been kind of strange, though. That's true, but the normal, yeah, normal. you know cadence is shoot 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 edit, and then edit, edit, edit. <laughs> takes considerably longer than that obviously you know yeah. um, that's mostly it and then playing and whatever else but mostly editing uh what is sam what is your likability of the warhammer 40k dice masters i dice masters is dice masters it's one of the one of the games that when you try to slap a new theme on it uh it's affected the least in my opinion um because you're still just rolling dice and and battling with them yeah the the different abilities and powers change but uh it's it's pretty much the same thing so i'm i'm kind of ho-hum on dice masters so i'm also kind of ho-hum on War, warhammer 40k dice masters and then uh it says are you excited about the command and color samurai battles from gmt i didn't see that one i saw the one that was from medieval but i didn't see one for samurai battles so now i'm gonna go look for it but um but so thank you for letting me know about it uh, are all top tens going forward going to be live? Possibly. Yeah, we don't. We don't. We aren't the ones to actually make that final decision. But uh, I just show up. I do a little dance, sing a little song, <laughs> make some jokes. <laughs> yeah. Put some lists together. Yeah. Which I mostly just look over Sam, show them like, oh yeah. <laughs> no, Mich you don't. Mission red plan. So wrong. Um. <laughs> But yes, possibly, yes. We, well, again, we like the audience interaction, being able to do this with you guys. Uh, we know you're watching right now. This is, you know, as good yeah. as it gets for being basically in the same room hanging out unless it's at a convention. Ooh, Man vs. Meeple says Z and I have similar tastes in games. <gasps> what? Oh. oh, my. Starstruck. Man crush much. Man, Crush Monday. Okay, here's a, here's one that we can both hit on. What do you guys feel about Gloomhaven? I feel regret, remorse. I haven't pl I played it one time. Right? I have no idea, folks. I'm sorry. For all I know, it is my favorite game ever. Right? Because... Here, here's the thing. Tom loves this game. Yes. Loves it. Loves it. I should it. also caveat that with he, before this moment of love, hated solitaire games. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> yes. And it completely made him do a 180 on, on solitaire games. He started games. wearing normal people clothes. Because he took Gloomhaven, he played it with us once. And then he took it back to his house, and we haven't seen it since. Precious. Exactly. My that precious. is exactly how it feels. So we have played it exactly one time because Tom took it and we haven't seen it since. Yeah, I don't know. I I suspect I wouldn't be a massive fan of that combat. Yeah. But um, I liked the setting. I liked how just unbelievably epic that game seems to be. I mean, they put cool. so much in the box. Yeah. So huge. You know, but... Um, I don't know. I don't know. If, if that combat is, is in everything, I don't think I would love it as much as people seem to. It was all right. A little too... Ta it made me think of like Final Fantasy Tactics or something, you know, where you, instead of having a, a combat, you're having this yeah. maneuvering, very slow pondering sort of battle. Yeah. Ugh, not really for me. Uh, all right. What else have we got? Hi, Sam and Z. Have either of you ever created or thought about creating your own game? Yes. Yes. 
I don't know which one, which of the two parts we answered. Though. <laughs> I've thought about it. I have not ever even gotten to like prototyping anything. So yeah, neither have so I. So really, no. Well, we've definitely thought about it. And then I had a bagel. So. <laughs> Um, if offered the opportunity, would you try Kingdom Death Monster? I know it's not your cup of tea, but would you try it only to get to say that you have? I guess so. I just see the thing. My thing with Kingdom Death, Death Monster is not even necessarily the grotesque nature of of the, the the miniatures that are in the game. It's more the style of game that it is. I don't like starting out in a game with nothing, which from what I can tell, that's what happens. You start with basically a loincloth and a lamp, and <laughs> that's it. And you've got to tiptoe around this darkness, hoping you don't die. And so I just, it's just not my cup of tea for more that reason. And, and on top of that, I don't like the grotesque and, and uh, other miniatures. And I know most of them aren't even in the game, the ones that are popular and all that kind of stuff. But it's What's just not. That? Well, I mean, they're not, they're not normally used in the game. They're like those, those big ones that have like very, yes, that are very, you know, R-rated anatomically or... charged. Anatomically yes. charged. Um, huh. those, are, those are the ones that are barely even used in the game. They're just there for like uh, eye candy for those who want it. So uh yeah i don't know i guess i would but um, i probably won't like it just because of what i do know about the game and i i would try it i don't uh my main thing that I'm, i've read or heard that i think would probably mean i don't like it is it's extremely heavy from what i understand yeah and it's very long. complicated game. and it's long i mean i know each episode i guess you could say or, or something like that each scenario is not that long but um when stringed together i guess i don't know Mike Slaybaugh says, I want to get into TI4, but seems like just a lot to jump into. What do you think is the easiest way to get into that game? Play Blood Rage. Four-player game, first of all. Well, a three- or four-player game with, with TI4. Um, that's probably the easiest way to get into it. And I would say do a couple of games with that before you move on to adding more players. Uh, we did a... Uh, Roy's sitting right over here off camera. We did a... Oh. Hey, when did you walk in? <laughs> um, we did a, what was it, a six-player game at Dice Tower Con. I remember that. And it took... It's good. It, it still only took like about five, five, five or six hours, yeah? Yeah, yeah, five and a half hours. So it hours. was... But we all knew how to play the game. Mm -hmm. We didn't have to do any teaching. Everybody was savvy on the rules and, and the general flow of the game, so it really clipped along at a good pace. Um, but when you're learning the game, no. That's when you come... That's when you're hearing stories of the 12... 13, 14 hour games is because you've got five or six players who have never played the game before sitting around a table slogging through and that's just not the way to go. You need to do three or three or four players for your first game and uh, that's probably going to take you around six or seven hours um, but that's the easiest way I think. Okay, um, do you guys make sure or how, sorry, how do you guys make sure that personal classics get to the table Considering the tide of new games you're swept by. No. I like the way that's phrased. So, <laughs> no. Get red. Um, yeah. Oh, gee whiz. How do you guys? Uh, you, we, we don't? Not really. I mean, I try to play older things. Like, for example, of the recent um, Dust Tower Retreat, I played a lot of older games. Mm -hmm. There's stuff I had in my collection, you know, that... Uh, Tom was the exact opposite, though. Yeah, he was. He was. He's, he, gr he leans towards that side, though, more heavily than yeah. I know I do. Yeah. But, you know, these games are unheard of by a large portion of the number of people who are playing these kinds of games today, honestly. And I'm not talking extra old. I'm talking six years old, because a lot of people have gotten into the hobby after that. So I played games from, you know... 10 years ago, things like that, and uh, had a great time. And that's the, the wonderful thing about these older games is, I said somewhere else recently, they don't, you know, the graphics don't look worse. It, you can't tell. I can bring this game out, and you can't tell it did not come out six months ago. If you'd right. never heard of it, and I told you it came out six months ago, you'd buy it. I like that. I like that timelessness. So... 
that's when I do it, when there's an event that allows that flexibility. But you are right, there is a pace that needs to be maintained, which means we're playing a lot of new games. Hmm. Um, <coughs> uh, let's see here. Have you guys played New Frontiers yet? And if so, what did you think? Have not played yet. I haven't either. Do you, got, do you guys go to amusement parks regularly? No, I don't like amusement parks. Uh, the, that's for rich folk. So, I also no. don't like rides. So You don't like rides? Really? Yeah. Oh, man. I like me a good roller coaster. Oof. No. I don't like heights, <laughs> and I don't like wearing my stomach near my throat. Z's roller coaster would be like five feet off the ground. No loops, no twins, just like a train. A choo-choo? <laughs> I don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> I did once. I, uh... Where was I? Universal Studios or something, and they have one based on The Mummy, the movie. Yeah. It's in the dark, first of all, or largely in the dark, the roller coaster. They take you up, and then you get to the very top of it, and a screen comes on, the mummy shouts at you, and this and that, and the rest of the ride is backwards. They shoot you back. Where is this? Universal Studios or somewhere. Really? Yeah. I don't remember that. And it was like... I've been on that ride. Yeah, they shoot you back. Oh, I thought so you I went got like to the, under it or something like that. You get to the top. They definitely shoot you back at least for a bit of it. Maybe not the whole thing, but okay. I don't know because as soon as they threw me back, I closed my eyes and hung on for dear life. <laughs> I was like, I'm... Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. <laughs> no. All right. Kaz, the Dice Odyssey, says, Do you think Lords of Hellas could replace Blood Rage for you in the future sometime? Keep hearing amazing things about it. And the answer to that is No. Um, <laughs> uh, the answer to that is no. It's simply because Lords of Hell is is another, I think, a couple levels of complexity to it that uh, Blood Rage just doesn't have. And I like the simplicity of Blood Rage that still has all of that uh, uh, thematic involvement and um, depth of gameplay. So, uh, no, probably not. I do like Lords of Hell is, don't get me wrong, but uh, it won't replace Blood Rage. All right, Charlie says, any funky trick takers catching your eye lately? Trick takers. For me, I've, there's been a lot. And I am, in fact, reviewing some uh, coming up shortly. But something that I would say, oh, man, look into this. I don't think so right off the the top of my head. I don't think so. But, you know, just stay tuned for those videos. Maybe one of those will will blow Mm. your mind. (laughs) Yeah. Um... Uh, Have you played and or kickstarted Tainted Grail? Uh, no. No, I haven't played or kickstarted it. No. Um, uh, but it, it looks really looks really neat. But again, like we said on the, uh, I think that was on Tom's anticipated list mm-hmm. this year, mm-hmm. and uh, uh, it's it's a dark take on the Arthurian legends. And I just I would I would have rather it had been a take on the Arthurian legends rather than a dark take on it. So um, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, Z, do you have a favorite role in Pandemic Fall of Rome? No. How about not yet? I don't know. No, I don't think so. Can we expect another Memoir 44 campaign with me against the Internet? Possibly, because I had a lot of fun. But it is a... A little bit of a logistical hiccup because there has to be two people in the room and uh, we're all kind of busy here at the studio so we kind of have to get uh, we have to find that balance and so we'll see uh, I really enjoyed doing it and I think uh, a lot of people enjoyed watching it too so there you go do I have a favorite monster in blood rage no I usually stay away from um, recruiting the monsters unless they're ones that don't cost anything to invade or um, or uh, upgrade those monsters I'll go after like the I think it's the um, the soldier of hell the dwarf chieftain I think also costs soldier nothing to upgrade hell. or uh, invade with so the ones that are free I'll usually go after just because I think that um, one of the ways to do well and Blood Rage is to really be stingy on your, your rage economy and try to try to engineer each age where everybody's out of rage and you still have stuff to do. You still have rage to do stuff with, rather. So I usually try to uh, be very stingy on how much rage I'm spending, and the monsters are the antithesis of that. They're very expensive with very little 
end game worth unless you're really trying to win battles and that type of thing. That's so. some tactics and strategy for you. It's a trap. <laughs> Did you ever try modifying the battle rules? In what? And not having bidding since that is part of the game that you don't like. Rising Sun is what we must be talking about. Modifying the battle rules. Yeah, that's Mike it. Mike Slayball. Because somebody over here said Rising Sun down here. Uh, no, no, I, I have that. not. If that's what we're talking about. No. Then no, because. That's integral to the game, really. Well. Eric Lang has designed a couple more games than I have. Yeah. I will trust his decisions when it comes to that game. If I don't like it, I just don't play that game. But I'm not going to get in there and mess with it because I might break something else. That's why, you know, not because it, uh, it's, I, again, when you buy a game, it's your game. Do whatever you want with it. I, I am a believer in that. You know, if you don't like that in this game, you have a hand of three cards, then draw five, whatever. But that game is complicated. And I, if, that's an undertaking for one thing changing the combat rules I, what am i gonna do you know I'm trying to see if that's uh, what we're talking about oh it is baby and if it's not it is now <laughs> all right cool z do you do you still play australia yes i do i like that game quite that a was, bit i just played it at the uh, retreat that was fun that, that, that is a fun game yeah all right have either of you been following the NFL playoffs? Do you have a team you're rooting for? <sighs> My team is actually at the forefront of the headlines this morning. <gasps> for a bad reason. Oh. Our kicker. What did he do? Who has been struggling all season. Struggling with what? Addiction? What's wrong? No, he is struggling with doing his job. Oh. Putting the ball through the uprights. Oh, that's it. Yeah, that's the gig. Um... He finally he, just stabbed somebody. Well, here's the thing. There's five seconds left in the game. Right. And we're down by one point. Yes. I, yes, sports. And so they line up, and they kick the ball, but right before he kicks the ball, the Eagles call a timeout. That kick goes right down the middle of the uprights. Okay. So they call the timeout, so that, that's null and void. They come back. And line up again. And he caught a cold in between that kick and the second kick. Something happened. Like somebody spiked his Gatorade or something because he kicked it. He got that call. I've seen it in hit movies. The, hit the left upright, hit the bottom. We have your wife. And then bounced out and did not go through, and we lose the game by one point. Season over. Oh, that's, that's why I don't follow any teams. Ugh. So the answer for me is no. So a 12-4 and four team got beat by one point by a 7-4 and four team. Just don't. Ugh. <laughs> what games would you recommend for a seven-player group? We are doing Captain Sonar and Cosmic Cosmic Encounter currently. Those are good choices. Um, I mean, you want to do, I'm guessing, not quite party games because there's a lot of those. Seven Wonders play seven. Well. Mm -hmm. oh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Thoughts on the upcoming live playthrough of the Western Legends new expansion? I haven't really looked at what's in that expansion, so I'm not sure. I'm kind of going into it blank slate. Well, having Travis here is always an interesting situation. He's a fun guy to play games with. <laughs> so there's that. I don't know anything about the expansion either, but having Travis here is always fun. So uh, it's going to be an enjoyable experience, I think, but uh, I don't know anything about the expansion. I like Western Legends, uh, so it'll be fun to play Western Legends again. Uh, but the anti-up one, I, the anti-up expansion, I have no idea. So, I don't know. Thank you, Neo, Neoteric Lefty. Sorry for the double doink. Yep, that's true. That's what we were just talking about. All right, let's see here. Let's try to catch up. I'm going to go to the <coughs> bottom and work my way up a little bit. <laughs> Sam, can you teach Blood Rage on the cruise? If you're saying that's the only thing I do during the cruise, no. Please, help me. No. Um... During the first retreat, I played Blood Rage no less than four times. On the second retreat, a week later, I played it twice. Um, now, I'm, that's not a complaint at all, but I would like to uh, spruce things up a little bit and not play the same game all five days of the cruise. Um, so, yeah, I'll probably play a couple of games, but um, you'll just have to catch me for one of them, I guess. 
Uh, okay, someone says, who is the most AP prone between you guys and Tom? Who is the most AP prone? I guess so, but you're not that AP prone either. <clears throat> no, because I, I get to a point where I don't I just don't care anymore. I'm not, and, and Tom like, really isn't either. So, uh, well, Tom just always tries these really. You've seen how the man dresses, <laughs> so <laughs> just think that <clears throat> in a board game. Yeah, that's pretty much because he'll he'll like find some weird strategy and he'll 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 try it, and yeah. and that's what he'll stick to the entire game. So he doesn't really have to think about all of the other aspects of the game. He's just thinking about that one singular strategy that he's going to try to make work. Right. So that's why he doesn't really have that much uh, AP proneness. Um, I just do things and see what happens. Yeah. I, I, uh, I, I, I usually get too caught up in thinking that what I'm doing isn't the best thing I could do, so what's the best thing I could do? Mm. And then after a while, I start saying, you know, I don't care anymore because this is taking too long, so I'm just going to do this. And uh, the first time I play a game, I usually, well, not usually, but I often do well. So I have a lot of beginner's luck in games. But after that, after everybody else is starting to catch on to the different strategies that are employed and, and what's the most optimal moves in certain situations, that's when I start losing games. Uh, have either of you played this Sagrada expansion? If so, I have not. So no, the if so you can keep because we haven't. Mm -hmm. Sorry. What would that, Sam? What's your feelings about the new Metal Gear Solid game coming out? Oh, the board game. Got it. I, I yes. I I have no connection with Metal Gear Solid. Metal Gear Solid. So no. I can neither confirm nor deny. <laughs> Yeah, I don't like Metal Gear Solid actually as an uh, as an IP. I just I don't like stealth games. So maybe it's a great board game, but I'm not inspired to play it. Like when Fallout was announced, I was like, "What? I must <laughs> play this." And it's all right, but Metal Gear Solid might be a much better game, but I'm not captivated because of the theme. We'll see when it comes out. Uh, hi guys, do you have any games on your must play list for the cruise? No. Nope. Yeah, I don't have a. I, I, I usually don't have a must play. The closest I ever came to that, to having a must played, must play games list for anything, was when I went to Essen this year because I wanted to try to play as many of the games that I was looking forward to that was coming out at Essen mm -hmm. as possible. And, and even then, I only got like three or four of them played <laughs> because there's just so much going on there. So I, I really think that when you go to something like that and you have that kind of list, you're really curtailing uh, your avenue of possibilities and you're, you're missing out on a lot of other stuff that could be really cool. Mm -hmm. So that's why I usually don't uh, go that way. Um, ba -boom, ba -boom, ba -boom. <laughs> that's hilarious. Nina Green says, when you two sang that song about long game several years ago, I absolutely loved it. <laughs> that should be a ringtone. What is the possibility I could talk you into doing that again on the cruise? <laughs> We'd have to, f we'd have to find the lyrics again. Do you still have the lyrics? I don't think so. I mean, oh, wow. I could listen to it, obviously, yeah, of but course. we'd have to. That's craziness. I mean, no. <laughs> <laughs> to find the lyrics, practice it again. Uh, do no, no. That's insanity. We appreciate that you liked it, though. I, I thank you for that. Very kind. <laughs> Do you bring travel games when you go on the road? If so, what are your... Do you? I don't. I do because, well, uh, kind of. When I go visit my family, there's usually a game or two in the back seat, and they usually stay there also. Mm. But, you know, normally I'll throw something back there just in case. And it has to be something very, very light language, independent. A lot of There's a lot of caveats for whatever makes it to the back seat. Uh, so... Yes, kind of, but I'm not one of those people that I won't leave the house without a game just in case an impromptu game session breaks out at the zoo or something. No. 
Vanessa Garretton says, I bet Sam's game would either involve, back when we were talking about if we thought about designing a game or whatever, yeah. would either involve Vikings or dwarves. It actually doesn't. It's uh, birds, actually. It's about birds. Yeah, so um, it's kind of strange. but. And my game was about goats. <laughs> goats and birds. <laughs> goats and birds. Goats and birds. Goats and birds. Z, would you prefer the others to be a pure co-op? That is a good question. I don't want to mess with that game. I like that game just the way it is. But the upcoming Death May Die, Cthulhu Death May Die, from some reports I've heard, is kind of like the others, full co-op. Still Cthulhu. Love the artwork. I'm really, really jonesing for that one, I have to say. Uh, I don't know when that even is projected to come out. But I'm excited to give it a go. So part of me is saying yes, because then I could play at any time, right? Mm. I don't need that. You know, I could play a solitaire even running multiple characters. But no, I like what the others does. I, I, I like both sides. I like the way the interaction is there between two opposing forces that can both, in my opinion, try as hard as they can to crush the other side. And the game still is, is balanced and feels balanced to me. And a lot of people always, you know, a lot of new players especially feel like the uh, Sins player just crushes the players. But um, that's because the players are being a little too timid with their um, resources normally. Hmm. you gotta, you got to spend it. If you've got it, spend it. All have, right, what else we got? Have either of you played the expansion to Zaya Legends of the Drift System? So no for me. Played it again? No. Played the expansion. Oh, the expansion. No, no. I played the game one time. I died, I think, on turn two. I'm good. Roy is shaking his head yes over there. Roy, what's your, what's your, uh, what's your, what's your uh, thoughts on the expansion? I mean, I love it. It fixes the game. I mean, I love it. It fixes the game. He's, yeah, he's, he's, he's translating. Yeah, he's translating. It fixes the game, it says, he says. All right. Isathel1 says, Sam, I'm going to ring that 8th edition K40 bell. 40K? 40. 40K. Wow, 40K. 40K bill. 8th edition. Dyslexic, possibly. Oh, I see. Yeah, we haven't played 8th edition 40K yet. That's, Come I think on, that's Kat. What, what are you doing? I know. Well, here's the problem. Uh, Vernon 40K, had... 40K, baby. Fern, that's some serious gold. Vern, I thought 24 was as good as it got. Ver, Vernon has the Plague Marines half of my 8th edition set, and he currently lives in Alabama. What, what uh, a punk. So I have my Dark Angels, but they're not finished being painted yet. They're close. I just have to do the detailing on them. But uh, Vernon has the uh, Plague Marines. So, um, and by now they're probably finished too, although well, I don't he's know. he's painted them twice, I bet. <laughs> probably stripped, painted them and painted them, sick stripped them, them and, and painted them again, yeah. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. Uh, it's, I want to get it done, I do, but half of my set is gone. Uh, Sam, right. a heavy metal themed board game, maybe something like Brutal Legend, designed by Sadler Brothers and Eric Lang. What would the weapons be? Well, doesn't he have a guitar that's an axe in that video game? I've never played it, but I saw trailers. <laughs> um, I, I don't, I don't, I don't know either. But that was the first thing that I thought of. I thought of uh, Gene Simmons' uh, bass battle axe. Yeah. That would definitely be one of the, one of the weapons I would imagine. Um, I want to have a tambourine that when you hit it, spikes come out on the outside and you can throw it. It turns into a crawl. Yeah, it turns into yeah. <laughs> And then it comes back, and when you catch it, it goes... <laughs> oh, come on, baby. I call it the rattlesnake. Yeah. <laughs> okay, apparently it's a feline rattlesnake. That can only do wow. cats. Someone's like, look, a puppy. I'm like... Wow. <laughs> That's all I got. How do you feel about? Oh, this one's a little, a little bit of a dicey one. Uh, then don't how do you, read it. How do you feel about forced inclusion? What I mean is, you being forced to hire people not on the basis of how good they are, but on the. Oh, wow. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have read that one. Good job, uh, buddy. Um, goodness. Uh, I have not. I don't know. I don't hire people. So yeah, yeah I, that's how I, we'll gracefully I. we'll gracefully jump over that question. Sorry. Uh, da, 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 da. 
What are your favorite co-op games, or what is your favorite co-op game for kids? I actually have one, even though I don't normally play with kids. I guess my, my younger nephew. But My favorite co-op game for the younger crowd is uh, that one that, what is it, Ghost Hunt Treasure Monkeys, or what is it? <laughs> Ghost fighting treasure hunters. Yeah, that's it. I actually played that twice over the over the Christmas break. Yeah. No, I'm sorry, just game. just just once. But yeah, it is it is a great game. So good. I mean, I like that game. It, not just I'm not playing it to like appease the kids. I, I'm playing. It's only it's the it's the only roll and move game that I actually like. Yeah, yeah. It's basically it really could be Pandemic Junior. Yeah, maybe. I mean, it's a roll and move version of like a pandemic sort of mechanism where the monsters, the ghosts. If there's too many, they outbreak. Kind of. Well, they don't they don't really outbreak. They they become um, if you, you got three in one room, batty. you place them in a yeah. And yeah. then if there's eight of those outbreaks, then you lose yeah. the game. I thought it was six, but yeah, eight. Six I, I made up the number. But yeah. yeah, it's six. Uh, all right. What styles and kind of games are the most in your collection? And this person's name, or they, are Russian. I can't read that. <laughs> uh, what styles and kind of games? I have a lot. Let me see. A lot of card games. I like card games. I like co-ops quite a bit. So there's probably a, a disproportionate amount of co-op games. Where is that? I don't know. Down near the bottom, I guess. Okay. What else do I have a lot of? Probably compared to most oh, yeah. new gamers, older games. And I don't mean, like, I, I know there's someone out there who's like, <laughs> that game's from 2002. That's not old. And you're right, in a sense. But, again, going back to something we said earlier, a lot of people who are playing games now were not into gaming in Maxime. 2002 or 2004 or whatever. So. Maxime? Maxime? Is, that how, is that how you pronounce it? Oh, for sure. That's how you say it. Maxime... Grigor, uh, why? Why? I don't know. Sam, I'm some, trying. Did you, didn't you I, just learn that there's I, things you shouldn't attempt to I read? I took one semester of Russian in college. Uh, did you pass? I did. I just can't remember half of it. Oh. Or rather, ninety percent. Je ne comprends pas. I I can say this. Go ahead. Das Vidania. Bill Clinton et the ocean pro Americanski president. That was some crazy. We're about to get shut down by <laughs> by the CIA. <laughs> Live feed goes down immediately. <laughs> Window blows in right before the feed goes out. Breach. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. Question for both Sam and Z. <laughs> okay, go ahead. <laughs> when trying to play heavier games with my girlfriend, which she loves to play but tends to fall asleep or doze when going over rules. Any tips? Say it again. So basically he plays Garrett here. Uh, I feel like I'm taking one of those phone calls on one of those late night shows. Uh, when trying to play heavier games with uh, his girlfriend, she loves to play them, but she tends to fall asleep or doze off when he is going over the rules. And do we have any tips for that? Um... Gain charisma? No, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> oh, oh, man. Uh, no, uh, I, I would say... Give you, her the rule book. I mean, I don't know. Yeah, maybe maybe before before the game, just say, watch this how-to video. Yeah. Or something like that. Something where she's Gosh, a, little bit, she... a little bit more engaged. Or make sure that you're so savvy on the rules that you don't have to read from the rule book you can Definitely just teach don't and show do that i mean there are good yeah. ways to teach and bad ways to teach right so you know invest some time in that but besides i mean i kind of have to go back to maybe the root of the problem here does she are you sure she wants to play those heavy games with you yeah that's true i mean maybe well he said that she enjoys playing them it's just that during the rules she gets bored that's the long and the short of what he's saying. She gets bored during the rules explanation part of it and then enjoys playing the game. So, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, give her, put it on her then to teach or maybe she should be the one learning the rules and teaching you. 
Hmm. Hire a tutor. <laughs> Hire a tutor. I don't know. A board I'm gaming tutor. Here. Um, uh, any chance you're going to get blood raged out? It's your favorite, but you seem like you play it a ton. I do play it a ton, and I will have to say that the six games that I played over over the two weeks of the retreat, that was a bit much. I was happy to do it, and I enjoyed every single game that I played. Uh, I won one, and I came in second to all of the other games. <laughs> so That's good, though. That's no, good I guess so, yeah. But um, it is, uh, I, don't, I don't think so. I don't think so. Uh, because I just enjoy the game that much. And I and it's one of the games that I enjoy just playing when everybody knows how to play the game, and I also enjoy teaching the game as well. So, Somebody said down here, that gentleman who asked the question, he said, perfect Russian. Huh? The guy who asked the question earlier, the Russian person, he heard you speak Russian, and he said, perfect Russian. Oh, I don't know. I wouldn't say that. No. Cat, that was perfect Russian. That was one sentence. Which was perfect. <laughs> you could now, like, you know, you could say fluent <laughs> in I'm not, Russian. I'm not going to. If you need to lie on, like, an acting resume, <laughs> if you can say one thing in Russian, you are experienced in Russian. You've experienced it. Like, yeah. you've heard it, and you're like, yeah, I know, that's Russian, right? Bam, it goes on the resume. <laughs> that's how you get gigs, baby. What did you think of Aquaman? Have you seen Aquaman yet? Yeah. Yeah, what did you think of it? I liked it. I mean, have I you, thought it was like a popcorn no? flick. But okay. You gotta be careful. Roy hasn't seen it, so we can Here's what happens, anything. right? So, uh, the first shot. <laughs> dun, 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 and then you see, right? And then the, ah! But then, like, <laughs> hoo, hoo. And then, oh, man. <laughs> Uh, no, I liked it. I thought it was a good popcorn kind of movie. You know, good special effects. The script was kind of ho hum. Like the writing was like, yeah, right. You know, no no memorable lines. That movie is very unquotable. Like there was nothing that stood out. Yeah, I got, yeah, I got you. I mean, even but it, I even liked in the it. Uh, it's a cool, it was a cool movie. You know, it's fun if you go in there, um, especially with diminished expectations because of the previous movies. I think you're gonna like it. Wow, I wouldn't even go there. See, here's the thing. I think DC um, is amazing. Trips over themselves constantly when they're trying to make those uh, Avengers style movies, like the Justice League and and the different ones that have different players. Justice that... League was good, man. Anyway. Did you see the Flash? <laughs> Did you see the way he ran? <laughs> What in the world, man? <laughs> Nobody runs like that. Especially the guy that is superpower is running fast. That would be like, I mean, that, that would be like Batman having like a magnifying glass in his pocket <laughs> to be a detective. Or like Superman. I he, say, sir, what is this? You know, it's just like the one thing you do is run. They couldn't get someone who could run. Run well, yeah. You might want to screen test them for running. That's what you do in the movie. Uh, anyway, uh, that cracked me up. <laughs> <laughs> their their ensemble movies are deplorable, uh, but I think their their single character movies they are better. Yes, like Wonder Woman, sure. uh, Superman, even uh, Batman. Batman was before Affleck. Yeah, sure. Before but that's Affleck. Not the Christian same. Bale, Batman. Come on, that's the that's amazing. And, and this one is good. I, I really enjoyed it. I, uh, we I did, went yeah. to, um, I took on, on Christmas Day, because it's kind of a, not really a tradition, but it's just something that I've done over my lifetime. We go to a movie on Christmas Day, mm -hmm. you know, in the afternoon. And, mm -hmm. and so I, I took my kids to see two movies. We, we went to go see Into the Spider-Verse and Aquaman on the same day, one right after the other. Nerds. Um, and I, I, enjoyed, I enjoyed Aquaman much better than I did Into the Spider-Verse. What? Now, the Into the Spider-Verse, the reason I didn't like it is because I didn't like the cinematic style that they had. The whole time... I haven't seen it, so... The whole time, I was... I had the feeling that I was watching a 3D movie without 3D glasses. That's because... Now, it wasn't always like that, but there were scenes in the movie where I was like... I was literally... I was seconds away from getting out of my seat and going and asking them, this is a 3D movie, why don't we have 3D glasses? That's how much I thought. But it wasn't. It was the cinematic style. Yeah, it's like sort of self-shaded or yeah. some sort of weird yeah. roto 
and I didn't oh. like that. And it took away from my involvement in the movie and, and, and getting into the plot. But I still enjoyed it. I just liked Aquaman better. There's some, some comments right here. It oh. says, Z, were you born hilarious, or was it something you have aspired to work towards? <laughs> uh. Who's saying the awesome outro for the Brothers Murph Top 100? Oh, who said that? Someone noticed it? David Phillips, yeah. Yeah, I, I did it. <laughs> I was editing their videos, and I... Um, I had a, a few minutes, so... Matt Matt did the... Uh, Matt, uh, what's his last name? I can't remember his last name. Uh, Matt did the intro, though. Yeah, yeah, no, Matt, he does all the bumpers. Yeah. I just did the outro thing. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I just went and recorded it and threw it on there. Being a dork. Uh, bah, 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 bah. <laughs> Calvin Brooks says, Sam, there is a game launching this month by Sandy Peterson, the guy who made Cthulhu Wars. The game is called Hyperspace. Looks, looks like it could be a TI4 killer. Probably not. Um, surprised it wasn't on your anticipated games. Well, I, don't, I, don't, I didn't hear about it, first of all. But to say that it's a TI4 killer? No. I, I have serious doubts about that. Um, it's nothing from who? Sandy Peterson. Well, it would be a Peterson game. Taking down another Peterson game. That would be... Um, Christian T. Of headline, the Peterson. Headline worthy. But um, I, I seriously doubt it. You're talking about a, a TI4 is a game that has, what, a decade of, of years behind it in development, production. Yeah, but this new game is coming out designing. already as the fourth edition. <laughs> They're just starting at four. <laughs> That's how you do it, baby. Yeah. Trick people into thinking you've developed. I'll look into it, but I seriously doubt it's going to be a TI4 killer. Uh, what's your favorite movie? My favorite movie? Movie, I said. But yeah, movie. Same thing. Same thing. So it has to have, uh, like, cows or a cats film. in it. A film. A film. A motion picture. A picture show. Um, my favorite movie. A picture show, yes. Um... Kabuki Kid says Raiders of the Lost Ark is, is her favorite. Hmm. I, w I would probably go... Um, uh, Titanic. I would say... Every night. I would say either uh, Return of the King in the uh, Lord of the Rings trilogy or... That, the one with the, the, the... Or... The movie with many endings. Yes. Yeah, that's the only thing I don't like about it. I don't like that. That's but it, really. that's the only thing. That's like the last five minutes of the movie. I felt like 20 in the movie. <laughs> but anyway, okay, what's the other one? Um, or uh, I would have to say either episode four or episode six. Star Trek. Of Star Wars. Huh. The Wrath of. The Wrath of the Emperor, Ch yes. The Wrath of <laughs> Chewbacca. The Wrath of BB-8. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, for me, it is uh, Apollo 13 is my favorite movie. Oh, that's a good one. Uh, let's see People here. are not just talking movies, man. Go Forrest Gump, Fifth Element, Original Trilogy, uh, oh, Interstellar. Forrest Gump is good. Forrest Gump is the good. The Truman Show, Gladiator. Oh. Are you not entertained? Man. Um, Got you. Uh, Saving Private Ryan. Ooh, Saving Private Ryan is up there too, too, baby. There's so many good movies out there. It's it's hard to nail down to just one. Um, but Die Hard is not a Christmas movie. What about Die Hard 2? Nope. I mean, come on. Bruce Willis. Confirmed. He said it? He said it is not a Christmas he movie. He directed that movie? He's the... Oh, checkmate! Man. <laughs> he's, the, he's, the, he's the main actor in it, yeah. <laughs> All right, folks. Let's do a quick... Uh, this or that. We can go with this or we can go with that. You give us a this and you give us a that. Then we pick them. Yeah, right. All right, you know how this works. Just, you know, A or B. Um, Jurassic while Park. That, while those are coming up, would we play hate? Somebody asked that up a little bit higher. Yes. Um, I just, it, was, it seems like an all right game with a really bad video. I'm not playing the video. I'm playing the game. Yeah. Uh, all right, what do we got? Hiroshima Hex Army. My favorite is New York, by the way. Uh, th thoughts on Reichbusters from Mythic Games? I haven't played it. I saw it at Essen, but I didn't get a chance to uh, 
uh, sit down and play it. Um, I was there for a, another scenario playthrough of Solomon Kane, and I did, didn't didn't get a chance to get back to their booth. So, all right. Let's see. What do we got? Salsa or sour cream? Salsa, baby. Salsa? No, salsa with sour cream. Oh, that's cheating. No, it's peanut not. butter or peanuts. I'm gonna I'm gonna say peanut butter with peanuts if we can do that. No, I'm gonna say boiled peanuts are the best, especially if it's oh, in I a lost it. Cajun boil. Okay, bald or comb over. Bald. Come on, okay. What kind of question is this? Definitely bald. Steampunk or sci-fi? I like both a lot. How about steampunk with sci-fi? Wow, he's just going to keep clanging that bell. Uh, definitely sci-fi. Uh, steampunk. Just because it's less utilized. Uh, Thanos or dark side? I believe it's pronounced dark seed. It's dark side. Is man. it dark side? Yes. Hey, DC, I don't care. Oh, you got um, called out, fanboys. Thanos. Yeah. Uh, Thanos. All right. Cake or ice cream? Ice cream cake. Ice cream. Ice cream cake. Pie best, or. Best oh, and the next question is pie or ice cream? I don't think these people talk to each other. It's a different person. Pie, pie or ice cream? Pie. Ice cream still. Z is your name short for anything? Yes. yes. Can I say? No. Okay. Yes, I don't care. No. Junior. <laughs> Too <said> late. <laughs> Too late. <laughs> you said it correctly, though. That's good. Um, Chronicles of Crime or Deadline? Deadline. I like Deadline better. I haven't played. Matt Jude. Matthew Jude. Yes, thank you. Uh, uh, Pringles or Sun Chips? Pringles or Sun Chips? I'm going to go with Pringles. Pringles, I baby. I think Sun Chips are better for you. Well, I Slightly. think so, but one of the, only one of the two comes in a tube. <laughs> <laughs> Chips in a tube. Queen or kiss? Queen or kiss? I'm going to go with kiss. I'm going to go with uh, queen. Project Elite or Rise of Moloch? Jeez, I, li I don't like Project Elite very much. So Rise of Moloch. I, I, I like them both about equally. Han Solo or Indiana Jones? This is all you, man. You got to pick. You cannot say Han Solo with Indiana Jones, you know, Han Jones. Indy holding a laser gun. Indiana Solo. Indiana Solo. That's um, it. Han Jones. Han Jones. Yeah. Han Jones. <laughs> da, 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 da. <laughs> Definitely shot first. See? I shot first. Uh, oh, wow. I, I guess I'd have to go with Solo. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. Man. Come on. I'd have to go solo. Although very, 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 very close second would be Indiana Jones. Yeah. All right. Marvel or DC? I think we answered that already. Marvel. Marvel. Uh, oh, I lost it. Where are you? <laughs> Pizza or ice cream? Pizza. Where is it? There it is. Volcar or fireballs? Fireballs. What? <laughs> I, neither. What, what are we talking that about? Makes sense. Champions of Midgard or Raiders of the North Sea with with full expansions for both. Champions of Midgard, by far. Pandemic Cthulhu or Ghost Stories for first co-op? Pandemic Cthulhu. Regga um, reggaeton or rock? Dun, dun, rock. Dun, 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 rock, dun. rock, rock, dun, dun. rock, rock, rock. Rock, yes, definitely. Um, where was it? Lords of Waterdeep or Seven Wonders? Lords of Waterdeep or Seven Wonders? This is the, we're throwing out two random wow. games now. Seven uh, Wonders. Seven Wonders, yeah. Grilled cheese or boxing shorts? Pick it. Okay. That's not one of the... I know. I'm just like putting two out. random things together. Hot dogs or hamburgers? We always get asked this question. Hamburgers. Every single... Is it because is it we are... Hamburgers. Of, ...of girth? Yes. Every Ham time it's hamburgers. like ice cream or pie. Oh, you want to eat some cookies, chubbies, or you want to <laughs> eat some hamburgers? Oh, how about a whole pizza versus several uh, <laughs> calzones? Although they are both sandwiches. Look at this, man. Bagels or English muffins? Right. Tacos or pizza? Right. Come yes. on, cat. What's exactly. up? Heroes of Terranoth or, request, or Warhammer Quest but Adventure card sushi game? Sushi or tacos? How are you going to make me pick like that? Sushis. Sushis? Yeah. <laughs> Plural. <laughs> uh, Oh, man, that's hilarious. Oh, that's Essen a good question. Con. Look, this is a good question. Killmonger or Ocean Master? 
I think the actor for Killmonger did a better job it's than Ocean Master. Creed did. don't play. Ocean Master was just he seemed kind of fake. Jason Patrick, he's all right. Yeah. Um, Killmonger was extremely well done. Yes. <clears throat> Queen Domino or Azul. Queen Domino or Azul. If you're oh, talking about the stained glass better. of Sintra, yes. Mm -hmm. But uh, I think I like Queen Domino better than the first Azul. Uh, uh, Bigfoot or Loch Ness Monster? Um, Loch Ness? No, nah, baby, Bigfoot. Nah. That's my, that's my homie. Well, Bigfoot could just be a, a big hairy dude walking around in the wilderness. Sasquatch. squatch. No, it's we big hairy We might be dude. related. <laughs> Shorts or long pants? Shorts. Well, what do they have here? They have the, in Florida, they've got the uh, the skunk ape. Is that what it is? Yeah. That's like the local urban myth or, you know, mythical creature is the skunk ape. Yeah. A big ape, much like That's when you know Sasquatch. somebody is making it up. When they take two animals and put it together. A skunk ape. Right. Yeah. That's, that's, you know that's You've never up. heard of the fabled goat crocodile? <laughs> 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 you call it goat croc. Goat croc. Anyway, all right, we're going to shut this down, uh, folks. Goat. We've got a lot of questions, but it's time for us to go. Uh, craft beer or craft beer? Is the craft with a K beer have cheese in it? <laughs> That's disgusting. Interesting. Uh, I will. Pineapple or mango? Mango. Pineapple. Now you're wrong, baby. Key lime or any other pie? Any other pie? I mean, is it like I can only have key lime for the rest of my life, or I can never have key lime for the rest of my life? Yes. Yeah, sure. Yeah. That kind of burritos or just, tacos? Again, burritos. dude, no. You know what? No. Hey, I'm, I'm, I'll own it. I don't care. <laughs> salad. Why doesn't anyone ever ask us about salads? Because salad isn't food. Salad is the food for my food, right? Hey. Salad. Salad yeah, is the yeah. food for my food, and it's a promissory note that good things are about to come. John Panette. All right, folks. Let's Lightsaber down, or Enchanted man. Axe, last one. What is it? Lightsaber or Enchanted Axe. This is a no-brainer. How about don't, a lightsaber? Don't combine the two. In the shape of an axe. You turn it on, it goes... <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. No. Self-cleaning. <laughs> That's good. No. I would definitely go Lightsaber. All right, fine. Lightsaber. Absolutely. But with like a safety feature. I don't think those things have safety features. I'm just saying. That's a dangerous weapon. Yeah, they are. It's like a switchblade. And Kylo Ren's was like even more dangerous because it had the it had Right, the, I the know. I mean, you carry out. that bad boy in your pocket. <laughs> this is true. I'm just saying. This they really true. need to forward think, put some covers on that, divert exhaust elsewhere, something. Ranch or blue cheese? Oh, we're done. No, man. Come on, man. Ranch. Or, or blue, blue cheese. cheese. If it's a wedge salad, definitely blue cheese. I don't think I like blue cheese. Any it's other salad? Been a ranch. while. Which one do I normally <laughs> Now I'm in a conundrum. I think I like both. I don't remember. I don't know that much about salads. Go back to asking me fat people food questions. <laughs> Goat Croc sounds like a bad sci-fi movie. Goat Croc! Coming to the sci-fi channel. Yes, that's what it is. S-Y-F-Y. Yeah. Anyway, all right. Kylo Ren is an awful oh, look villain. Oh, this question. What I is agree. This? Z, are you really Chinese? <laughs> what? <laughs> no. Star Trek versus Firefly. 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 And Vanessa comes in and says Z is Cuban. Thank you, Vanessa. Captain Correct. Profundity. <laughs> oh, all right, folks. That's it. Thanks for hanging out with us. We really appreciate it. We're going to go get some work done. Yep. Uh, we will see you uh, later on this week. We've got a Latin live a live game session coming up. When is that? Wednesday, I believe. Thursday. Wednesday. Thursday. Wednesday, we've got live back talk and live That's right. games from 1999. So live back talk, live top 10, live play after that the next day after that lots of goodies and of course some reviews and all of those things we are also of course going to be working uh, we're working on prepping a lot of things for the upcoming both cruise and beyond 
There you go. So, uh, again, thanks for hanging out with us. I am Z Garcia. Sam Healy. And we will see you on the flip side. Oh, look at that. We work together. <laughs> Teamwork, teamwork. We work together like... I'm shutting up.